No, you're on a five-year contract. You're only two years into it, not even two full seasons. You're obviously going to be in high demand. Can you unequivocally say that you're going to be the head coach in 2022 at Notre Dame? Yeah, I will. And if my name's not involved or mentioned in some of these things that come up, then I don't know that you're pushing your own program correctly. And I'm, I'm not searching for anything, but if your name is not one that's popular or appears to be doing the right things with the program, then are you really doing the right things for your own program? And I love it here. I love these kids. Uh, the, these guys represent everything that you could possibly ask young men to represent. On the field, the way they conduct themselves on the field, the way they play, their attention to detail, the way they carry themselves off the field, classroom, community, interaction with everybody that is in contact with our program recognizes what these guys are, and I love them, man. Well, I mean, th this third base side of our facility is very nice. Um, to host a regional or a super regional event, you know, I feel like we need to catch up on the other side and have a little bit more of an equitable visiting mm -hmm. restroom situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just came from the Disney World of baseball. There, there's people everywhere. It's a laser light show in the place. The music and the crowd interaction and the, the box seating where they can bring any coolers, drinks, anything they want. You can bring anything you want to the stadium. So they've turned that into something that is on the extraordinary end of what you see in college baseball. And we saw it and we wore it. It's the biggest three game series crowd in the history of the sport. So. I want to just continue to give us the best possible opportunity to host and provide the venue that allows a national type event to take place here because that's what I want to build. Like I want to build a national brand baseball program and this this side is great and everybody knows we just need to continue mm -hmm. to, to Freshen up the first base. It didn't seem like the baseball draft revolves around really what amount of money that family decides is worth signing professionally for and once you make that decision and sign you cannot go to college you can do it the other way you can go to college and then three or four years later have a chance to go play professionally and i feel like guys that come here and perform at this level you're going to get your chance um, if you don't perform at this level to think that you were going to elevate through a minor league system is a tough stretch in my mind so you just try to present the whole picture and um, the degree from Notre Dame and playing in the ACC and being around other kids like we have on our team, you can't put a price tag on that. Uh, at some point financially, if the money gets to be, you know, like when I signed Mike Trout and he was coming to East Carolina and Addison Russell was coming to Auburn and David Dahl, sometimes it gets to a point where they can't turn down the financial benefit of signing that contract so again it's up to the family and the player like what's the value of this setting in this degree versus um, what they might be offered it's not really about the draft as much as like, what they want to sign for that sometimes predicates how popular you are in the draft uh, we have started to sort that out um, I think they play what do they play Friday I I am Saturday too. Monday they're Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Tuesday. Sunday, Wednesday. Are they? Yeah. I don't know. I was told I'm going Friday, so I guess that's what the boss has lined up. I know she was working on it about 6 a.m., um, and I'm thrilled for those guys. I, I thought the level of play in this conference all year was extremely deep and talented, top to bottom, um, and I felt all of these were super regional weekends. And unfortunately, the last one, we, we didn't win the last Super Regional weekend, but I'm, I'm happy for NC State and Virginia, and I can't say enough about our guys. I mean, it's a remarkable year. Their toughness and grit and determination to, to grind through the travel we endure, probably 10,000 miles worth of travel, just remarkable how these guys handle their academics, the baseball, and the transition into our coaching staff. I mean, some of the guys have options to come back here, and uh, part of that involves getting into the right grad school program here. They have to graduate in four years from Notre Dame. It's not like that at most schools. That's a requirement here in athletics, and our guys do it. 
Um, so that gives us some flexibility. We can't take everybody back just because there will be a roster limitation of 40 people next year. This year, the NCAA allowed unlimited players on the team, rightfully so. But they're trying to phase this back towards what your normal 35-man roster is. You start to look at the draft, it's very unpredictable. I told the team last night, you'll, you'll never figure that out. So some of the guys that are seniors or like draft eligible juniors mm -hmm. have that looming. So because the draft is so much later this year, it's in mid-July, normally the draft would have already right. come and gone. Right. So when you don't know those things until mid-July as opposed to the first week in June, it makes the roster piece that much more complicated. And I feel that it's going to remain this way. Like I think the draft will stay at this point. I think they're going to do away with the short season, low A ball type professional teams right. and have more combines and workouts leading up to the draft. So that this year will be the first time any of us have ever experienced that dynamic and it affects your recruits and it affects the current players on the team right now. And there's no way to even know the pieces of the puzzle today if you want to look to next year. Now I will say, the recruiting class, I feel like we had a, a big impact in some of the recruits that were new to our program when I got here, we didn't recruit. So I think maybe our style and what we're looking to do with our with our team will show up with some of the younger guys. We need more left-handed bats. There was a stretch in the Super Regional where you saw they, they could match up pretty well out of the bullpen, um, and that makes it tricky. So we need to prioritize the left-handed hitter at our stadium, the wind, pushes to right field early in the spring. Um, so there's a couple reasons you want those left-handed bats, and we need to continue to get deeper on the mound, no doubt about it. Wasn't deep enough, but when you lose Sheehan and Vale and you have to absorb that, nobody can handle that sort of blow. But we did, and we survived. Um, those guys were sitting in the stands down there, and I saw them, and you, you think a little bit about what they would have added to what was obviously a good play. Well, Danny Neri at times has shown flashes behind the plate of being really solid. Uh, and he's a left-handed hitter, which helps. And he's got to continue to mature and just become a little more physical. Lamana wore the burden of catching a lot of our games. And he was very timely and did a very nice job. Got better all year. But to have another catcher that can that can rest Dave and go in there and give it a different look, be it a left-handed bat, it gives you so many more options. So I think Danny's got a, a bright future. Ryan Lynch, you know, the expectations are that he can go out there. I think he could be similar to Harding, the pitch from Mississippi mm -hmm. State, that really used the changeup well. That's going to be Ryan's ticket. He needs to throw this summer. We didn't get the full complement of games, so there was some developmental hindrance in just the way the schedule unfolded for us. He's going to be effective. Um, and we need Liam. Liam's throwing 96, 98 miles an hour. Now, wasn't effective yesterday. There were glimpses of it being electric, but we have to harness what's in there, and we've seen flashes of it, but it hasn't quite been consistent enough in the competitive setting to think that he right now is ready to give you the innings that we needed yesterday, for example. One other guy, TJ Williams, you saw flashes of it, I guess in the regional more than anything else, but he can go get it with Looks the best like of them. Athlete. He can go get it with the best of them. You know, he would line up with anybody that was on the field at Mississippi State or, or for us. Defensively. Defensively. Now he's a right-handed hitter, but he can really run. Probably our fastest pure guy. There'll, there'll be a lot of good innings for him coming.